Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to swatch 10 newly launched shades of the Plum Matte in Heaven Liquid Lipstick. So let's get started. So these are the Plum Matte in Heaven Liquid Lipsticks, which Plum has initially launched in this particular year. But she has newly come up with 10 new shades, which I have purchased from the official website of Plum, which I'm going to swatch for you. So the lipstick looks something like this. Each of this lipstick comes in this kind of outer cardboard box. Very sturdy, good looking cardboard box. And you get the shade number along with the shade name at the bottom of the packaging. The lipstick looks something like this. So these are priced at rupees of $4.99 each for 4.5 ml of product. I do have a coupon code with plum which you can use on the official website of plum to get additional 10 percent off so now coming to the packaging as you can see it comes in beautiful acrylic plastic packaging with a screw on cap which you have to unscrew to remove the applicator from the packaging it comes with a flat shaped tapered dough fruit applicator which helps in the application of the product really really well and these lipsticks are having very mild vanilla caramel sort of fragrance which is bearable the formulation is beautiful very very pigmented super duper creamy liquid lipsticks once it settles down it's gonna give you 100% matte finish so for the application of the product I'm gonna use the shade toast wanted which is a beautiful brownie nude color and you can make out that these are very very pigmented liquid lipstick one single layer of the lipstick is gonna provide you intense color payoff at the same time opacity to cover the pigmentation of your lips so you don't have to layer it on a number of times you can apply the single layer and good to go even if you layer it on a number of times still it won't be cracky or bad looking on your lips it's very very comfortable to wear these are 100% matte liquid lipsticks but these are not at all drying dehydrating on the lips very very comfortable to wear and you can wear it throughout the entire day it won't peel off from your lips it won't make you feel uncomfortable at the same time these a liquid lipstick uh, takes around two minutes to settle on your lips to give you that complete transfer proof matte finish so you have to wait for around two minutes but i really love how matte it looks on my lips how opaque it looks so this is something that you can definitely try out on an everyday basis if you want to try out a long lasting liquid lipstick because these are completely waterproof completely transfer proof kiss proof smudge proof liquid lipsticks as you can see i'm just rubbing it rigorously with water and it's not coming off it's completely kiss proof it's not going to transfer on your mask as well and it's very very comfortable to wear guys i'm really in love with the formulation of these liquid lipstick but if you run your fingers on top of this it's going to smudge just a little bit which i think is normal with the initial application of the product and this is how my lipstick looks after i had my dinner which i'm really impressed guys and at the end of the day, these lipstick can be easily removed with your micellar water. But I would uh, advise you to use an oil infused one because that's going to break down the product and remove it really well. But it's best to remove this particular lipstick from your lips with the help of cleansing oil or cleansing balm because that works the best for you. And also, I think will be working for everyone. The longevity is really, really good up to seven hours, which I think is really, really amazing. Surely you can remove it really well it does not stain your lips only with one single shade i have found has stained my lips badly other than that i'm really in love with most of the shades that i have purchased so for swatching uh, the lip colors i'm gonna swatch around 10 new shades of this particular range along with two older shades which i already have in my collection so plum has released a four nude shades uh, of our newly launched shades and uh, the first shade that i'm going to swatch for you is a shade called 131 truffle tees and this is a beautiful peachy nude color guys i love deep peachy nudes on me it's a true deep peachy nude color which has got warm medium brown undertone it's gonna look beautiful on fair to medium to british skin tones on deep dusky skin tone you can try out some beautiful other shades which i'm gonna swatch for you soon this is a shade that you can wear to your office to your college on an everyday basis just with your kajal and mascara as you can see today i have really really minimal makeup going on and it looks beautiful you can wear it for any kind of special occasions with your uh, smoky eyes into smoky eyes black smoky eyes it's gonna look beautiful the second shade which I'm gonna swatch for you is number 132 called candy crush and this is perhaps one of my favorite shades from this particular collection because it's a beautiful like a true peachy pink color guys yes it's a pinky nude which has got lots of peaches going on having that warm brown undertone which makes my face look so bright at the same time it makes my face look really awakened which I absolutely love 
it's a just a perfect girl next door kind of shade which you can definitely wear on an everyday basis it looks beautiful with most of your eye looks even on your bare face guys the shade candy crush will look gorgeous on you this is a shade that's going to work on all indian skin tones except a very deep skin tone category you can just line your lips with a brown lip liner and apply this color and you're good to go this is also a very very pretty shade another gorgeous shade if you're searching for that perfect brown nude you can try out 133 toast wanted which is such a gorgeous like a medium warm brown nude color it has got hints of brick tones as well which has made it so beautiful it is also having that hint of pink as well and having that warm undertone and you can see how gorgeous this one looks this looks the best on bare face guys so with your cream blush on and just a little bit of mascara if you wear this color you will be looking gorgeous a perfect everyday kind of shade or else you can wear it with your copper smoky eyes bronze smoky eyes it's gonna work really well on deeper skin tones as well so fair medium british dusky tan deep skin tone category anybody can pull this off it's gonna look gorgeous gorgeous on you a must try shade from this particular range 134 grape expectations is a beautiful color now i have faced a bad issue with this particular shade which i'm going to share in this video so you can see it's a beautiful like a true cool tone mauve shade which has got hints of plum tones or pink tones going on having grayish undertone so if it looks very similar to max uh, topped with brandy guys this shade looks very very similar now i have faced a problem with this particular shade only I don't know what's wrong with the formulation so after I swatched it on my lips guys I have found a ream of pink layer surrounding my lips on the inner rim of my lips you can see a layer of pink kind of a color going on which was dissolving into my mouth and making me feel so bad so this is the thing which i have experienced with the shade grape expectation only and it has stained my lips so badly you can see so i would advise you not to try out the shade grape expectation now it's time to swatch the newer pinks that she has incorporated in this particular collection so the first one is 135 watermelon sugar which is a muted beautiful like a candy watermelon kind of pink which is having red undertone this is a beautiful pink guys that's gonna work really well on all indian skin tones it's deep at the same time muted so it looks beautiful it is just having that soft pink going on with that red undertone making it suitable for all you can wear it with your bold black winged eyeliner with your champagne eyes with just your mascara on guys this particular shade looks so beautiful if you are searching for that true watermelon pink i think this shade is for you and you, you will be loving it because it brightens up your face it looks so beautiful it makes you feel so good the next one is 136 called sugar and spice it's a true deep pink color but it is having warm undertones so it's gonna rock really well on indian skin tones a fair medium british deep tan dusky any skin tone category guys this shade will look so beautiful a perfect pink that you can wear for the summer days uh, with your white outfit uh, with your yellow outfit it's gonna look beautiful for any kind of special occasions this is a shade that will also look so gorgeous it's best to wear this particular shade with your bold black winged eyeliner or just with your mascara on or if you want to uh, glam up your eyes you can pair it with champagne eyes or copper eyes or gold eyes this will look stunning guys this is one of my favorite pinks i have you have been using it a lot and i'm really really loving it the next one is 137 called so plum this is also a beautiful beautiful pink and uh, i would say this is a perfect pink for very deep skin tone category as well because it is having that purple hints in it so it's a beautiful like a deep a true pink having that plum hints going on with that purple undertone which makes it suitable for all it's also a beautiful shade that you can wear for uh, any kind of wearing functions for any kind of special occasions for the parties out there it's gonna glam up your entire look it looks the best with your black outfit with your black lbd with your black sari i really really like it guys this is something that you can definitely definitely check out and i really love this particular shade and now it's time to move on to the reds the first one is 138 called silly chili this is also a beautiful color guys it is having uh, that gorgeous orange undertone you can see it's a red warm red 
but it is having that orange undertone it's not a true bluish red or a pinkish red it is a very warm red i think the perfect christmas red lip color i like to wear this kind of reds during the christmas time because it looks so beautiful with my furry jacket with my leather jacket this looks absolutely stunning so i would highly uh, advise you guys to try out this particular shade if you're searching for a different kind of red it looks stunning it is a red but it is not at all patchy it applied so smoothly on my lips i really really like like it if you're searching for the deepest red i think you should try out the shade red teeny which looks so so damn pretty guys you can see it is a deep wine or you may call it like the deepest maroon which has got lots of berries going on you can see it has got that berry kind of undertone which has made it so so beautiful so i really really like it i like this kind of reds for the fall season for the winter months when you want to just make your lips look so prominent this is something that you can definitely definitely wear and it will be looking gorgeous with most of your outfits for any kind of special occasions and will look gorgeous on all skin tones out there guys for on deeper skin tones dusky skin tones very deep skin tone category this will look absolutely stunning now 140 wine to go is something which is not my kind of shade but i have tried it and this is the only shade which i have found a little bit patchy and uneven when i'm applying the product so you can see it's the deepest wine which has got almost like very cool undertone which has made it look like a black lipstick you may call it because it's so deep so dark so grungy the perfect halloween shade and it you can see it has got that uneven application because of the darkness and the pigment pigmentation of the product has made it uh, not that complete opaque i have layered it on around three times and it has given me this kind of finish which i think is really good but still it is not feeling at all drying on my lips guys so the formulation is really really good now i'm gonna swatch the two shades the older shades from this collection which i already have with me 129 caramello so caramello is something which is completely different uh, from the other shades that i have in my collection guys it is a very pretty like a warm orange shade it's having that rusty tones as well it is having very rich warm brown undertone so if you want to wear an orange but don't want to pull off that very intense bright orange you can try out the shade caramello because it almost looks like a terracotta kind of shade on the lips it will be working really well on all indian skin tones uh, it makes your face look bright and radiant you can wear it uh, with your summer outfits and it will look gorgeous the last shade is perhaps one of my favorite shades as well 130 coco mocha is one of their best selling shades guys and it is a beautiful like a true chocolate brown nude color it is a, not a nude but i would say it's more of a complete chocolate brown shade which will be working for all guys and with most of your outfits with most of your eye looks guys this is something that you can definitely check out especially with your warm tone eye looks this looks so beautiful and i'm really liking the formulation except the shade grip expectation other than that all the shades and the formulation of all the shades are similar and look so beautiful so i hope you really like this video and this video has helped you this video is not at all sponsored the coupon code is an affiliated one which i'm sharing with you which you can surely apply on the official website of plum to get additional 10 percent off do not forget to hit on the like button and subscribe to my channel for getting more of these videos we'll see you soon take care bye guys